Hey guys, so I'm back today with a highlight and contour video and I decided to use my NYX highlight and contour palette and try out my new light that I got. I usually um, film during the day just so I get that natural sunlight, but it's right like 11 o'clock at night and um, yeah, so I tried to, you know, switch it up since I got some new light and see how this video turns out. So yeah, I have my foundation on, I have my concealer, my eyebrows, because if you know me, you know I have no eyebrows. So yeah, I have everything on already. I just gotta do my contour. And let's start. Um, I've never used this palette before, so work with me. I'm gonna start out with this color over here, with this last color. Um, and I'm going to use a flat kabuki angled brush and I'm just gonna put it like on the side like I'm not gonna dip it in straight I'm gonna dip it like on the side just like that tap off the excess oh that's dark and we're gonna start okay you can take your brush you see from the top of your ear there's like a little curve right here okay you're gonna just come straight down you, you can see I have a little natural line see that so that's where we're gonna put our contour. I tap it because I put a lot on the brush and just tap it out. This, the color depends on like how crazy you want your contour. So you can go as heavy or as light as you want. And I picked the darkest color. And then I am going to grab this Real Techniques brush. This is a contour brush, so I'm gonna use this to blend that out. We're gonna blend upwards when you're in circular motion. So when you're contouring, you're always gonna go up from that line where that you created, and you're gonna blend it out until there's no line there. Like, but you're gonna blend it upwards because you're creating that line to separate this down here to make you look sucked in. So we're gonna go upwards blend up. See, I already have a pretty natural line, so that line is looking a little cray cray. What you can do, like if, you know, I feel like that line is pretty sharp, I can take some like bronzer color, a bronzier color, instead of that dark, the darkest shade, I can pick up this lighter shade over here at this end, on this same brush, tap it off, and blend upwards. I'm not gonna come too in because I don't want my cheeks to look too full. I wanna look sucked in. So I'm gonna blend that out. And you can see already, the, you can see that shadow right there. Um, you see you don't, I mean, you can see the shadow a little bit because I do have like a little natural shadow, but here you can see it more, you see? Yeah, that's what we wanna see it more. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the other side. Or you know what, I'm not gonna do the other side. I'm just gonna continue with this side of my face. I'll do the other side, cause this side is a little bit better actually. So yeah, so I'm going to take my angled kabuki brush and I'm gonna just dip it on the side, tap off the excess and come up here. You see where your ear is, you make that line come straight down. That's where you should be sucked in. So like, you know, if you had like a little thin face, that's where you would be sucked in at. So now I'm using this same brush just to bring it up, like kind of like buffing it upwards. This is gonna be like pretty intense. Like if you don't wear makeup or you don't like a lot of makeup, contouring might not be for you because this is a lot of extra product that you don't really need. This is like literally like to change your face shape. Um, you don't really need to do this. I I do this when I'm like going extra, like if I'm going somewhere, I contour. Just because I like that extra, you know what I'm saying? Like, you see, 
when I turn to the side, like, I look like I got some cheekbones. So, yeah. And then I just use this Real Techniques contour brush. I pick up a bronze color. So, I use this one to cut my line, and then I use this one to blend it out. Take off the excess and blend. That's like a contour color, right? That's our bronze color, I'm sorry. So, you do that until you get the color you want. Mine looks a little bit darker because I have a hairy face. So, that's why that one looks a little bit darker. But, you yeah, know, this contour for your ass. And then you can take the bronze color and just match up the rest of your face. I don't really have like, like temple area. Like this is where my temples are. It's like a tiny, tiny little space there. So I don't do that. I do my forehead because my forehead, like right at the top is like a little big. I, it's a little weird that my whole forehead isn't big, but I feel like it goes pretty far back. No, I do not have a receding hairline, but it goes pretty far back, so. I like to put it up on the top here just to bring my forehead down a little bit. I don't go too dark on my forehead, but yeah. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna darken this up a little bit on this side. Okay, and once I like finish with everything, like my highlight and my blush, it's all gonna like mix in together. So that looks like a little muddy, but that's why we blend. And if you got a little extra double chin, you know what I'm saying? Like, you take some of that bronzer, you can mix them both just to the top of the bottom here. That's gonna give the shadow, which is not gonna let your double chin show, which is good. So you can just, I mean, this is a lot of extra product that you're doing. See what I'm saying? It's going away. I mean, makeup is makeup, it washes off. So at the end of the day, really, it doesn't matter how much or how little you put on. If you feel like looking like a clown for a day, then go ahead and do you, boo, because it comes off. Like, if you got some of these bad boys right here, makeup wipes, you can do whatever the hell you want. Like, who gives a shit? So yeah, so that's like very, intense so we're gonna cut it down a little bit but that's not that serious like just make sure everything is blended out and then I'm gonna go in you see like this is like a little harsh for me so I what I do I just take my powder brush and I take my MAC powder foundation and I'm just gonna like lightly go over it just to like diffuse it a little bit because it is a little dark for me you see, and since I have like a hairy face, it looks darker. Like, you see, it's not really that dark. It looks darker because of the hair on my face when I'm far, but it's actually not really that dark. Like, it actually looks good. <laughs> like, if you were in person, it would look good. So, I'm just blending all this out. And hopefully, this light or whatever picks this up on camera good like my highlight because it usually doesn't pick up highlight very well but let's see how that works out so i'm done with my contouring i just do my cheekbones and my jawline see so that's all i do because mama wanna have a skinny face so yeah i don't do my nose just because i like my nose i don't know um, I really just highlight I put a little bit of highlight on the tip of my nose and This has like a setting powder. Like, this has like a banana powder like these highlight shades up here again This is my first time ever using this palette. So this one. I'm gonna put it underneath my eyes um, I guess to brighten up my eyes um, Let's see if I can find a brush for that Let's put some of that banana down there Okay, so this banana, when you really want to cut it, right, right now this is like, I'm just going to leave that there. I'm not going to leave it like this, but it's going to like brighten up my eyes, so. Okay. It's not going to stay like that, I promise. 
I'm gonna take the powder brush again. I'm just gonna wipe that away. Okay, so highlight and contour. Contour is what you wanna change the shape on your face and highlight is what you wanna bring out. So contour, I wanna make my face thinner. So I'm gonna do this here to suck in my cheekbones and down here to make a sharper jawline and up here to minimize the forehead, so. And if you wanted to make your nose smaller, you would do it coming from your eyebrows. I mean, not connected to your eyebrows, but you follow where your eyebrow is and you just come straight down the nose. So it's gonna make your nose thinner. I don't do that because I like my wide nose. So, whatever. And then you can also take the banana and put it underneath this in case you wanna like clean it up, I guess, you know? Clean it up a little bit, you put it down there underneath the line then you wipe it away look, I do. let's just clean it up make it look a little bit sharper and there you go so you see my eyes are brighter okay everything is like nice and bright and we're about to shining bright like a diamond because now it comes to my highlight Okay, so I have two favorite highlighters, which is my Shimmer Brick from Bobbi Brown. And this is the beige one, I don't know. It just says beige, so this is the beige one, which is life, okay? And then I have my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, which I usually, this one is so pretty, like look at that, it's so freaking awesome. I usually just mix them, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put down the Soft and Gentle from MAC first. And I don't use that brush, so what am I doing? And I use this e.l.f. Small Stippling Brush. I get a nice amount, tap it off, and put it right up here. So like underneath the eyes, and on the apples of my cheeks, you see what I'm saying? Glowing, holla. Okay. Okay, and we also put this, I put it just like on the tip to do my nails. Put it on the tip of my nails. On my Cupid's bow. Because I need these lips to look bigger, right? Whatever. I like to do it. I don't care. And you can put some on the forehead, some above the arch of your brows. If you want to look like you're glowing everywhere on your chin you can put and you see it has like a little it looks like a little button now it's like glowing on the tip of my nose and you see that highlight right there but that that highlight though love it and then on top i put this bobby bobby brown shimmer brick i don't know why this doesn't open all the way that's kind of annoying but whatever i swirl it around in there top off the excess and throw that bad boy on top and on the other side, and down here on my nose, and up here. Okay. So I'm, you can see the highlight on my side. Like, bang. bang. Yeah, come on. That's official. So, yeah, that's how I highlight and contour. And since I have all this makeup on my face at 11 o'clock at night, I am going to just do a rose gold tutorial after this. And this one will be up first, and then I maybe I'll upload my rose gold tutorial tomorrow. Yeah, I'll give you guys something to watch. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you have any comments, nice comments, any suggestions anything like that just leave them down below i am going to get everything get all the links for all the stuff that i use and i will put it in the bar below the video you just gotta press the little description box and it'll open up and everything will be down there um yeah i usually put everything down there and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video which is gonna be a rose gold tutorial on the eyes thanks guys bye